All right, so this, uh, this is a different type of problem. And so this one, it has, it says that angle, I'm sorry, ray QR is the angle bisector of PQS. So let's talk about what that means for a second here. I'm going to grab uh, blue. So it says that QR, this ray right here, is the angle bisector of PQS, which is this whole big angle. So um, bisect, this word right here, the angle bisector, that means to cut in half. Okay, so the question is, what is x and what is angle PQS? So I'd encourage you once again, stop the video, try this one on your own, and see if you can get the answer without me showing you how to do it. Okay, so the hard part about setting this one up is, what does it equal? Does it equal 90 when you add these two? Does it equal 180 or does it equal something completely different? So how do we know how to set this up? On the previous two that we looked at, we add these two up and it set it equal to either 90 or to 180. That's not the case with these. When it says bisect, it cuts it in half. That means that this half right here is the same as this half over here. So if they're the same, we use the word congruent in geometry if two shapes are the same. Uh, that means that if these two angles are congruent, we can set up the equation and just write 13x equals 10x plus 15. So that you're not adding them up and setting equal to some number. They're actually equal to each other. Okay, so let's solve this. We'll subtract 10x from both sides. And we get 3x equals 15. And then we divide by 3, and we get x equals 5. So in this case, x is ooh, x is 5. OK, so we got this part down. Now it says figure out what angle PQS is. So what we're going to do, PQS, if you notice, is actually the whole big angle. So we got some work to do before we can get that answer. I'm going to switch over to red here. So angle PQS, what we're going to do is figure out both of these and then add them together. So if we go 13 times 5, that's going to be PQR. 13 times 5, that's going to be 65 degrees. And so this one's 65. And then since we said that it's the bisector, that means this half also has to be 65. But let's just double check and make sure we did our math right. So we do 10 times 5 plus 15. So ang this would be angle SQR. We go 10 times 5 plus 15. And that's going to give us 50 plus 15, which is indeed 65. So we did do it right. So the answer for PQS is not 65. In fact, it is 65 plus 65. So when we add those two together, 65 plus 65, we get 130 degrees. So PQS is 130. All right. And that is the end of this one.